A Colorado Springs man arrested in Breckenridge accused of having sex with a 12-year-old girl he met on Facebook. This news comes just after law enforcement charged 12 people with crimes related to child prostitution. As we first told you at 10 last night, investigators found a child sex ring operating in Colorado Springs in Denver. News 5's Jackie Heinrich joins us now live with more on this story. And Jackie, what are investigators saying tonight? Well, Jen, I spoke with a sergeant today who works with the Tra Crimes Against Children Task Force. He says, although these arrests are a step toward finding justice for these kids, we've got to pay more attention to what our youngsters are putting on the Internet. He says a lot of this has to do with our society making kids feel okay with exposing their bodies. 22-year-old Zachary Siegel is the Colorado Springs man arrested in Breckenridge, accused of having sex with a 12-year-old girl he met on Facebook. According to police, it all started when he asked her for new pictures. The girl told police they eventually had sex. This comes just after police put 12 other people behind bars, accused of crimes related to child prostitution. Investigators found a child sex ring operating in six cities in southern Colorado, including the Springs. Local Crimes Against Children investigator Bill Dehart says, though there's always someone responsible for a child's exploitation, we have to pay attention to changes in our society, making them vulnerable. I think you see a hypersexualization of children. Uh, we can see it through TV shows, and, and obviously we're quick to blame the media, but the reality is, is that kids are leveraging the technology as well. You don't walk down the street without seeing someone with a device in their hand, their head down. He says the anonymity of a virtual society provides a false safe haven. We have kids sending pictures to each other. We have sent them to pictures being sent to adults. So we see the, the level of, of comfortable uh, or the comfort level with these kids coming down so that they're more apt to get involved in these situations. And what's happening is the people are also taking advantage. of In that major sex ring bust, the two known victims were just 15 and 17 years old. Police say they were beaten and given drugs, forced into submission. It's a taboo subject, but it's happening in our own backyard. There's about 100,000 kids under the age of 18 that are currently involved in in commercial sexual exploitation of children. Which is why these recent arrests aren't the end of the story. To sum it up, it's, it's that it's occurring in Colorado Springs. So be aware, and more importantly, if you see something that you're concerned about, let us know. Police also discovered the people who are trafficking these kids in the sex trade are moving them around more and more. Minors are being transported all over, so they're harder to find and rescue. Sergeant Dehart says the best way to fight this crime is a tip from the public, so your vigilance is very important. Reporting live, I'm Jackie Heinrich, News 5. Jackie, thanks for that. Well, doctors sending out a